In this video, we are going to create a node in Python that contains a publisher. So basically, it will be the same thing as we did in C++, but this time in Python. And we are going to do that in a way that you could better appreciate the difference in syntax of coding between C++ and Python. If you find this kind of video interesting, subscribe to the channel so you can follow a structured path to learn how to program a robot in ROS. This part of the tutorial is the basis for understanding the ROS framework, so you should not get lost in the upcoming video where we are going to program a real robot So, let's get into the topic of this video. Open Visual Studio Code in the directory of the package that we are using for making practice with the node. So it is node practice. I recall that uh, this is the node written in C++. Let's create another file in Python that will be our node that contains a publisher. To better appreciate the difference between C++ and Python in writing node in ROS, let's open two scripts in parallel. So, on the left you find our publisher node in C++, and on the right we are going to code the same in Python. So first import the rospy library and import the string library coming from the standard messages. Now we are going to create the main section like we did last time when we created our, our first node in Python. Then we need to initialize our node.
This time we can call it publisher underscore pi. Then we can create our pub object. To do that, type rospy.publisher function and then the name of the topic that we want to publish. That is going to be message underscore topic. Then the type of the topic and the queue size. The type of the topic will be of type string. And the queue size, I remember you, it is like a buffer that allows the publisher to keep the message if the subscriber takes too much time for elaborating the data that is receiving. So these data are stored in this buffer that you set in the queue size. And in our case, it's going to be 1000. So it can keep at least 1000 messages. Then you can create a rate variable coming from the rate function and we set it a frequency of 10 Hertz like we did in C++. Then we are going to create our while loop with the condition not rospy is shut down function. Then we create a string object and call it messages. Finally, we have to create a message that contains MSG. In the last video, we have explained that from the ROS role documentation, the type of string is going to be data. So we need to type message.data and the string that we want the publisher publishes. Let's copy and paste, but update and distinguish it, it typing Python. Finally, we can publish the msg object and put pub.publish the message and finally control the frequency of the while loop using the sleep function of the rate object. Here we go. That is what it's all about. We have initialized the node. In Python, we don't need the node handle object. The syntax of the publisher is a little different, but to tell us the same story. In Python, we have to call the publisher function rather than the advertise function in C++. You have to set the name of the topic, the type of the topic that you want to publish, and the buffer size. Then we have a different type of display on terminal messages. In C++ is ROS underscore info, rather than in Python is going to be log info. Actually, I forgot to put it, so I type rospy dot log info function and the message you want to put.
Uh, well, sincerely, I am a little uncertain about the syntax, so I'm going to check in the first node of Python that we have created. Okay, so now um, we have to set the rate and uh, the while loop is pretty much the same. So save the file and before running, I remember that you have to build the executable from the file that you have just written. So let's go in the script directory and let's see what is inside. Here you can see that the green shows you that the file is an executable and the white is just a file. To make the file executable you just need to type chmod plus x and the name of the file to convert. By doing this you will ask the Python free interpreter to build the code in such a way that Ross can understand. Now if you type again ls you can see that the file is converted. So everything is ready to try. To do that, uh, open another terminal and run the ROS master by typing ROS core, as always. Then go to the terminal and run the node by typing ROS run, the name of the packaging that I recall you to be node practice, and the name of the executable file. Here we go, the node has been started and is running. Let's see what are the topping that are running by typing ROS topic list. And we can find message underscore topic, which is what we have set in the Python node. If you want to check what the publisher is publishing, you can type ROS topic, echo and the name of the topic that you want to check. And here we go again. It is publishing the string that is contained in the msg.data variable. Now everything is working properly. Before concluding this video, I just want to show you something very important in my opinion. Let's run in another terminal the publisher written in C++ that I recall you is publishing on the same topic, which is message underscore topic. We can see what's happening when you write two nodes that are publishing on the same topic. This is something very dangerous that I don't recommend you to do, because it may happen in very complex robot application that since a subscriber doesn't know from which node the topic is coming from, it would be easy for you to get lost.
To better understand this concept, let's check the pub sub architecture with the RQT graph. Here is generating a little confusion because we are running at the echo node. So let's close it and update the ROS graph. You can see here that the publisher node in Python is publishing on topic message underscore topic and the subscriber in C++ is subscribing to that topic as well. In reality, since the publisher node in C++ is running and it is publishing on the same topic, the subscriber node is getting messages from both nodes. This is a very dangerous thing and I don't really recommend it. This was only to explain you two things. First is that the publisher does not care of who is publishing. He gets whatever he's heard with the topic name message topic. The second is that if we stop running the C++ publisher node, Check it out uh, in the subscriber node terminal. The two nodes can communicate even if they are written in different languages. As you can see from the publisher subscriber architecture, the publisher node written in Python is publishing a string message on topic message underscore topic. And the subscriber node written in C++ is hearing that message from message underscore topic as well. That's all for today. I remember you that if you subscribe to the channel, you will have the opportunity to be followed more closely. For example, if you are following the pathway of this series of tutorials, I will help you if you have some troubles in making your first steps in ROS. It will be just a matter of writing in the comments down below and I will reach you out as soon as possible. Be aware that understanding this topic is very important if you want to deploy complex robotics application. Again, that's all for today, see you in the next video where we will talk about writing a subscriber in Python.